that far back. Yeah, shit. Right. <clears throat> All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. All right, uh, before we get started, as always, we want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahahudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine, <clears throat> who are in hope of mercy. And salvation during the time of Jacob's trouble, as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth. All right, um, we here today, um, and we we gonna just go in the spirit on these women. All right, these women in these last days. Uh, I have the brother Amawan with me. My name is Mawatazak. You know, brothers out here on the west. Uh, SoCal, GMS, Los Angeles. And, um, you know, through the spirit, we just, you know, brothers is going in and, you know, we in that time. You know, the spirit is on you women, you know, right now. All right. And you see throughout social media, um, you know, even regular news, you women are, are taking L's. All right. And you're going you gonna to take uh, big L's because you love this society you love the, the liberty that the devil has given you the serpent and he's getting ready to go down his system is getting ready to crash alright and you don't want to let it go and this is why Yahweh Shai said to remember Lot's wife alright you, you, you women that want to stay here and you want to uh you know, you have this, uh, what I like to call it, um, a, a, a false uh, sense of power, so to speak. Because it's, it's truly false, because you truly have no power. The only reason that you're in the position that you're in, first and foremost, is biblical prophecy. Let's get that real quick in uh, Isaiah. Mm, 33. Yeah, Isaiah 33. Yeah. Or is it 3? A woman shall compass a man. Uh, Jeremiah. I'll create a new thing in the earth. Right. Let's get that. Okay. Uh, and the way the Heavenly Father did it was he allowed the serpent to uh, give you that. Yeah, Jeremiah 31 and 22. He allowed the serpent to give you that uh, authority. All right. Which really is no authority. It's a false sense of authority. Because once the lights go out, once uh, 911 is no longer in reach, once your, all them degrees that you didn't went to school for, for these bullshit ass jobs that have no contribution to society for real, once all that stops, you're going to be the most, you're going you're gonna to be like a, 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 a a, a, a goddamn a, a missing child, a, a lost child in the, in the middle of the street mm -hmm. with, with no parents, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, go ahead, bro. This is Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. So that's the main reason that you're in the position you're in, all right? And this is a part of the curses the Heavenly Father put us under. But now that we've uh, returned to our true nationality and, and regaining our manhood back through believing in Yahweh Shai, all right, returning to the Heavenly Father through his son Yahweh Shai and the sacrifice that he made, that he did, all right, now we're able to, we're able to see that this shit is all out of order, all right? And the tables are turning, okay? We're getting ready to be back on top, and you either going to get down or you're going to lay down. You're going to be uh, laid with the pavement. You're going to be stomped like the mire of the street, okay? And if you 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 stuck in this world, as it says in uh, Luke 17, okay? Luke 17 and 32, 
Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to read 31 um, and 32. All right. It's a reason Yahweh Shai said, remember Lot's wife. Because that woman you got, okay, if she truly don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, she's going to crack and fold out here. All right. The only time these women going to want to stand up and, 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 and get shit together is when all hell breaks loose. But for a lot of you, it's going to be too late because you done already fucked over men of the Lord. All right. You thought you had it. Okay, and and, and, and and that's why the scriptures say, she that is mine enemy shall see it. All right? If you want to hold that one, and I'll read this real quick in uh, Luke 17, 31. It says, in that day, he which shall be upon the housetop. Matter of fact, let me start up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to start at 28, Okay. Uh, Luke 17, 28, it says, Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. That's what's happening right now in America. All right? People are not understanding the time that they're living in. They don't even know the time that they're living in because they're doing exactly what they were doing in the time of Lot. The angels was there ready to destroy that damn place. And they were, they just like the scripture said, they were eating, drinking, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it, you know. But you don't understand that this place is going to go down and it's going to go down overnight, okay. 29, it says, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. So the same day, whatever event is going to trigger these things that kick off full speed is the same day uh, uh, you women are going to lose all the power that the so-called white man has given you. You're going to lose every last drop of it. I don't give a fuck if you got a pew pew. Okay? You, you women ain't built for war. Okay? You're not built for that. Okay? Anybody can have a pew pew. You know, you dumb goofballs be saying online. All right. Anybody can have a pew pew. But what you going to do when motherfuckers are shooting back at you? OK, real killers. You women ain't killers, man. You 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 run, jump and hide when a goddamn spider run across the floor. You know, or or, or a goddamn uh, moth. Flies out of your closet, you lose your goddamn marbles. Mm -hmm. Let alone some hot ass bullets coming your way. Right. See, that's why I say it's a false sense of power that you women have. You scared of goddamn bugs. Mm -hmm. You know? And then you want to get online and act like you tough. You cocking your pistol like and standing there like you a whole nigga, man. The Lord finna humble you bitches. And I got to say it like that because you are bitches. You're shameless. Mm -hmm. All right. What does the scripture say in the Apocrypha? A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Yep. Okay. And a female dog is known as a bitch. Mm -hmm. So the Lord called you bitches because you're shameless. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it says, verse 30, even thus shall it be in the day when the son of man is revealed. Okay, and when the Lord is revealed, that's when the missiles is going to be on the way. And a lot of you going to be trampled. You're going to be, uh, uh, you know, raped over and over. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord come, he going to disintegrate your ass if you're still alive, mm -hmm. either with the chariot lasers or you're going you gonna to feel that nuclear heat. Right. Hey, the scripture, what, what, what's the judgment of a whore? According to the scriptures, what's the law on a whore? Burn it. You burn it with fire. Even if it's your daughter. Matter of fact, the, 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 the law actual, actually says that. If, if thy daughter played a harlot in thy house, mm -hmm. you supposed to burn her with fire. Mm -hmm. And majority, majority of you women in Babylon the Great are nothing but fucking whores. Right. The brother Daniela just posted a video of a fucking uh, nigga woman. A, a big booty ass, ugly red bone. Look like the first nigga that came through her because uh, somebody across her apartment was filming with a ring. This bitch had like five, six niggas come through there, man. 
Five, five, six niggas coming through in and out that bitch house, man. You know? Because you're a whore. And you free whores. You ain't even getting paid. This bitch wasn't getting paid. She that liveth in pleasure is dead. Is while dead while she, she liveth, man. You know? Uh, 31. It says, In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop, and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. Meaning it's going to be that bad. You ain't going to have time to do nothing. So when when when, this, when these things, when, when this next event happens, we're going to see how strong you women truly are. All right. The Lord is saying when, when if you on a housetop, you 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 just on on your housetop, you might be working on something. And when it's when the shit go down, you ain't even going to have time to go on the house and get your shit mm -hmm. to get out of Dodge. All right. It says, uh, and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. You know, mm -hmm. keep keep it moving. Don't even go back to the city. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Apostle Gabar brought it out uh, years ago. You know, these cities are really built for you women. OK. They built for you uh, women, man, mm -hmm. because the convenience of them. Yeah. You, you women wouldn't be able to survive in the wilderness. Off the grid by yourself, you dummies. Right. What you think it may happen? Right. And that makes sense. <clears throat> it says, uh, verse 32, which is the point. Remember Lot's wife. Okay? Right when right before he said, Remember Lot's wife, he says, He that is in the field, let him uh let him likewise not return back. Mm -hmm. What did what did Lot's wife do? She turned back when the angels specifically told him not to. Right. Why did she turn back? Because she was in love with that goddamn city. Right. All right. She was in love with uh uh, you know the 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 the, the uh, festivities, the mm -hmm. the amenities, you know the convenience. Right. The present world. You know, just, like these women uh, love this present world. Yeah. You know, they can't get enough of it. She didn't consider the promises of far off. That's she, right. She saw the present world. She saw the the, the temporal things mm -hmm. and, and thought she could hold on to those things forever. But the angel said that this place was going to burn. That's right. And, and it's the same dynamic here. This place is going to burn and we're not looking back. That's right. If your wife looking back, hey, <laughs> remember Lot's wife. You got to. You can't. You can't. Hey, man, these women are very fickle. All right. Matter of fact, uh, you got Micah? Yeah, seven? I, yeah I got yeah, it yeah. right here. Um, you want me to start to the point or 7 and 10? What's 10 say? Uh, I, I, I can go at 9. I would better ain't the nation Come. of the Lord. Come. This is Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall, and I shall behold his righteousness. And that's what we waiting on. Okay, we can't do what we want to do here. We gotta wait on the Lord, and He gonna execute the judgment for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse ten. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Who's our enemy? She is our enemy. Who's the she? The Israelite woman, beginning with the so-called black woman. You know. Esau and gave these bitches all type of programs and and uh 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 you know Jobs. amenities and and, and 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 uh you know free money from the government. Flattery titles. You know what I'm saying? You get all this uh you you get everything given to you. Yeah. You know? Right. And then you think you over us. Right. Bitch, you ain't over us, man. Right. And you you finna find that out the hard way. And I ain't talk like that. <laughs> I ain't I ain't talk like cuz I don't really like doing these woman videos, but the spirit is out here to get on you goddamn woman. We ain't talking about you sisters. All right? We ain't talking about the sisters who truly trying to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um get back in their right mind, all right? You know, putting off this westernized way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay? We ain't talking about y'all. We talking about these Babylonian trusting, mm -hmm. uh, uh, cock carousel riding, uh, 
skeezers out here, man. Mm-hmm. That's what we talking about. Especially you college uh, uh, educated skeezers. Right. You know? A woman that got a degree, oh man, she, she, she thinks she got it. You know, mm-hmm. she thinks she got it. She thinks she can uh, school you and teach you, man. Right. And we men of the Lord. Right. When the, when the, when the presidents such as Theodore Roosevelt tell you that a thorough understanding of the Bible it, it, is better, better than, than a, yep. a high school education. In college. He college. said better than a college Water. education. Better than a college education. Yeah. Yeah. But going back here. In uh, Micah 7 and 10, then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? Mine eye, sh- my eye shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Right, and that's what they say when they uh, give us the hell that they give us. You know, you trying to run your household in the fear of the Lord. Because you waiting on the Lord, and her her attitude is where is the promise of His coming? Right. You know she got the attitude of Job's wife. Mm-hmm. You know, right? But she gonna see it in this time. It ain't gonna take long, man. This finna go down out here. It's about to go down out here, man. Right. You know. You, you women are weak as hell. You don't even understand how weak you are. You're the weaker vessel. You think you can uh, raise children by yourself. You know how many videos is out there, these women, uh, saying how hard it is to be a single uh, mother? Mm-hmm. Right. You dodo heads. You, didn't, you, you, you took the uh, Babylonian juice. Right. Okay? You, 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 all you do... You know, you you work and you give your children fucking uh, electronics that raise them. Right. And then you wonder why the little nigga Ray he 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 grow up to be a goddamn demon, and he he's uh driven by his emotions just like you. Mm-hmm. Cause she had rooted up the foundation of the father. Yeah. Of the structure of the household, kicked him out. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Took took out the whole structure when he's the head. Now she's become the head. And she ain't built for that position. Not, not, not an ounce. You ain't built for the, to 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 run nothing, man, by yourself. You supposed to have a man in the house with you, and you you follow his orders and you put them orders on the children. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can't run a household by yourself. You know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That was it right there. Gone. You had something else? Uh, I had a Corinthians. Gone, yeah, go ahead. You get that. And for you brothers out there, man. Man, don't let these women, you know, psych you, man. Because these women will play on your psyche. <clears throat> like the scriptures tell us in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, man. In the scriptures, in the Bible. We're going to get that one, too. Their heart is snares and nets. I, I would like to read that before, actually. Okay, Con, 7 and 26. In, uh, in the uh, Bible, the Bible. Ecclesiastes. Okay. okay. Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. Matter of fact, I'll pull it up here. 7 and 26. Yeah, I got it lost in my, uh, my heart. I'll read it. I got it. I got okay. it. Uh, This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. It says, and I find more bitter than death the woman. Mm. All right. The woman is more bitter than death, according to the Bible. Yeah. Okay. Straight up. According to, and we've all, we've all been there. We've been in love with women. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look at, look at. uh, But the, Salakia, but the Lord, the Lord deliver us from these goddamn women. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, what was you about to say? Not, not to cut you off, Elder. Yeah. Uh, um, Jaheen. Oh, the, yeah. The, uh, the uh, yeah. photo that's surfing around the internet, putting the putting the Judite woman first. Look what happens. To Look him. at that nigga, man. He had a full full head of hair. That nigga looked like an AIDS patient. He looked like a downtown LA bum. Yeah, straight up AIDS patient <laughs> on the streets. That's what happens when you're stressing over a woman. 
You fall on her way, trying to please her, putting the world, you know, uh, you know, just putting the world at her, at her, at her, at her head. Yeah, and that's out of order. That is out of order. You ain't supposed to cater to no fucking woman, man. No. She's supposed to cater to you. I gotta get that. Okay. You ain't supposed to be all up under no goddamn woman, man. She's supposed to be into you. Not the the other, uh, the opposite. You know? That's the spirit. I was listening. I was, uh, where was I at, man? And I heard this song today. I think I was at a warehouse earlier and they had the music playing. That song that came out, uh, how's it go? Uh, uh, damn, how does shit go? Damn, that shit leaving me. He, he said, basically, you too beautiful. It won't work because I'll be uh, suicidal or something like that. Mm -hmm. Damn, I forget the name of that song, it man. Ring a bell. I can't think. Damn, I was just listening to it. And I was like, man, this dude. But that's real. A lot of you men out there, you become head over heels in love with these women. Mm -hmm. All right? Because of the beauty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and she drive you fucking insane. Right. Man, we're to the point to where you, like the white boy a few years ago, he was on the internet, he was live, and he blew his whole goddamn head off. Oh, yeah. Behind some goddamn woman, man. <laughs> that nigga head, that motherfucker head was like a watermelon. <laughs> that shit was gone. He blew that shit off on live, man, behind some oh, pussy, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. dude that Mayweather um, committed adultery against mm -hmm. one of his partners, this nigga killed himself behind that shit. Wow. You know? You can't let these women do that to you, man. Okay? That's why, that's why the Lord gave us these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? All oh, stressed out behind no goddamn uh, uh, a creature that bleeds once a month. Mm -hmm. That has no spiritual inclination. You know? And again, I'm not talking to you sisters that believe. I'm talking to these, these goddamn demons out here, man. These demons with a split in between their legs. That bleed every, <laughs> every goddamn right. month, man. And don't die. You can't tell me that's not a demon. Their mindset is totally uh, uh, with Esau Edom on this side, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? I got, a, I, got a, I got a long one for you. Yeah, Con, go ahead. Bring uh, it up. This is uh, 1 Ezra 4 and uh, 13. 1 Ezra 4 and 13. Then the third. Yeah, ooh. this is a beautiful one. Yep. Then the third who has spoken of woman and of the truth, this was a Rubabel, began to speak. An Israelite, all right, in captivity. And if you can receive it, this is King David. All right. This is King David in the reincarnation. Go ahead. O ye men, it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth. Who is it then that ruleth them? Or have the Lord shit over them? Are they not women? Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyards from whence the wine cometh. These also make it garments for men. These bring glory unto men. Mm -hmm. And without woman cannot man be. That's right. Uh, ain't nothing like having a pretty woman on your side. Mm -hmm. Everybody know that feeling. You know, the we all had that feeling. You know what I'm saying? You got you a bad one, as we call it today. Pretty ass woman. Mm -hmm. She on your, you, you know, you walking through the mall with her or, the, you know, wherever you at with her, at the beach right. with her. Your glory. You know what I'm saying? That's your glory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isaac, uh, what was it? Isaac or Abraham? Abraham sported, sported uh, uh, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Verse 18. They call it courting today. Mm. You know, you court a woman. You women ain't you ain't worthy to be courted. Nah, hell in, no. in Babylon the Great. You women are uh you 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 Big Mac and uh lucky if it's a movie. You know, a movie. 
you you women are uh straight up pumping dumps as they, uh what was the name of them dudes MGTOW men going their own way that's what they called you you you're just pumping dumps you know you're not worthy of being sported like that because you 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 know you're not wives right. You ain't nothing but a bunch of hoes, man. Right. Uh, scriptures say a shameless woman shall be known by her eyelids and yeah. her attire. Uh, the, 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 uh, the whoredom of a woman. The, the, the whoredom of a woman. woman may be known by her haughty, her, uh, uh, haughty, haughty looks. looks and her eyelids. Yeah. All right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and all you women got them haughty looks and them eyelids with them fucking lashes. Them, uh, them uh, uh, what they, uh, what's they? The cumbrellas. Wearing them big ass eye eyelashes, man. That's a damn shame. <clears throat> and that that that's a new thing, like big ass eyelashes. When did that come about? But anyways, um, yeah. Back in First Ezra four and sixteen, Salaka so like eighteen, yeah. And if men have gathered together gold and silver, or yep. In, yep. Are, no, so like, go ahead, finish it. I'm just, you know, because I know where it's going. Yeah, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other godly, goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? And letting all those things go, do they not get, gape and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? Mm-hmm. And have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any goodly thing whatsoever? Yeah. Men men will bust their ass mm-hmm. on the job. You know what I'm saying? Stack their bread. And 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 what, 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 what's the passport bros doing? That's what them niggas doing. <laughs> yeah. Them niggas are stacking their bread going over overseas to get women. Mm-hmm. Because that's our glory. Okay? And they leaving you hoes in America alone. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, you, 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 black women. Majority, of you ain't gonna make it, man. Nah. Majority of you are not gonna make it because of your mother effing attitude. Yeah. Okay, you're not a woman. You're a beast. Mm-hmm. You're a beast with a bunch of badass kids. Bunch you had you had a black woman in uh, Walmart. I forget what city it was. It was 12 degrees in wherever this city was. 12 degrees and she had her son in a shopping cart, a metal shopping cart with just a diaper on and this bitch fully dressed. And it was, if it wasn't for the people that was uh, checking her ass and then the Walmart employees got, got, uh, got into it, you know, they call CPS on that bitch because that's child negligence. Mm-hmm. You women, like the scriptures say, you are become like the ostrich. Uh, uh, let me get that, man. Who was that? Job? Yeah, I find it. I believe it's Job 39. Yeah, it's, yeah. Because the ostrich will lay, lay her eggs and she'll just leave them. And what, what happens in the wild? Oh, here come an uh, uh, animal to eat them eggs. And that's how you are with your children, man. In this society, you just totally backwards, man. Uh, 39 and probably like 16 or 17. 39, four of kind. Uh, 39, 39. I started at 14. Go ahead. Uh, this is Job 39 and 14. This is Job 39 and 13. Gavest thou the godly, godly pe- wings unto the peacocks? Are the wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. Yeah, that's what she do. She'll leave them, and then come the wild beast, and they'll crack them. Komodo dragons, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, uh, you know, different predators that'll go right up on her nest. Right. Because she left them. And, and like in today, the black woman... She'll leave her, she leave her child at just let him go run the streets at 11, 10 years old. Yeah. Just out there. And While she at the house getting her back blown by a random. Right. A mini randoms. And the next thing you know, her child go missing because it got traffic, man. Yeah. You know, out of nowhere because she left her eggs 
unattained. You know, her, her unattended seat, to, yep. Un, unattended to, maybe crushed, and and that's what happens. You know, and it, there's been many uh, cases the past few years of women leaving their children at home while these bitches is out partying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For days at a time, not just for a a, a few hours. We talking about days at a time. You left you left these children by themselves unattended. Right. So you can go uh party, man. Right. It's, these this is what Israelite women are doing. Right. Okay? We don't give a damn what these other nation women are doing. We talking about you Israelite women out there, man. <clears throat> go ahead. It says she she is hardened against her young ones. Hardened against them. You at, use you use your children as a goddamn uh shield against the man. Yeah. As a as a, a tool to uh try to get at us because yeah. because that's the only leverage you have. But men are, men men are saying fuck that and that child. Mm -hmm. Okay? And us men of the Lord, we'll say fuck that. And we'll pray to the Lord to 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 uh take care of our, our child, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm a I'm a, a a a living witness to that, man. I had to leave my oldest two children when they were young because their mother was a goddamn demon. Same with my uh my youngest son's mother, okay. And all I I just pray that the Lord keep them, all right, keep mm -hmm. watch over them. And the Lord did just that for my oldest two. And I, and I believe he gonna do it for my youngest. Right. All right. We ain't got to, we ain't we ain't playing with you women, man. Mm -hmm. You can play them games on on uh, the Pookies and the Ray Ray, man. We'll say fuck that and pay the bill. All right. Straight up. Leave you the fuck alone, man. So we can focus on the the the, the uh, more important matters. What we've been called into. And your goofy ass gonna realize you should have you should have. Played your, your proper role. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead. Back in Job 39 and 16, she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her as though they were not hers. That's a part of the curses, too. Remember in uh, yeah. Deuteronomy 28? Mm -hmm. Her eyes shall be evil to the fruit of her womb. You know? You women, you 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 got it coming. Matter of fact, let me get that one. You can stay where you at. Kinda. I keep going. Yeah. Uh, it says she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom. Neither have He imparted to her understanding. Yeah. You think you smart, but you not. Mm hmm. You not smart. Yeah. You can go to college and get. Uh, degrees and whatnot, but you're not smart, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you're not. Right. You don't have the 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 uh understanding spiritually. The mm -hmm. Lord didn't give you all that. Nope. Esau gives the woman privilege and thinks. You have a head over a hedge over the man, but you don't. Yeah, it's a false sense of power. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the man of because the man is looked down in society, and a woman is upheld in this society. That's right. All the benefits. As soon as uh, marriage go wrong, where does all the benefits go to, to the that, woman? To that damn woman. Yeah, it's this whole society is catered to the woman and your children. You know, because once you have children with a woman, it man, it makes it, <laughs> it gets even trickier with that. Yeah, it gets, it, you fucked. Because this society is catered to the woman, to, to downtrodden the man. Let me uh, see, let me find that real quick. I actually... Uh, okay, here we go. Wait, no, that's not it. It's coming though. I um, I have it right here. Oh, you in Deuteronomy twenty eight? Yeah, 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 go I, ahead, go I'm ahead, go ahead. This is De Deuteronomy twenty eight and uh fifty three. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own Salakia, Salakia. Salakia, uh Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifty four. Um uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fifty seven. Uh Salakia fifty six gotta jump down. This is Deuteronomy twenty eight. Yeah. And 56. 
It says, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. That day is gone. You see these bitches in, in the street now. They, they the feet, the bottom of their feet. <laughs> you can strike a match on it. <laughs> right. They got Simpson house shoes. You know pajama, what I'm saying? Pajama, Flip flops. Pajama pants on. Some be barefoot. <sighs> you know? Go ahead. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom mm -hmm. and toward her son and toward her daughter. And you can't tell me that ain't the uh, black woman beginning with her and the rest of you Israelite woman that ain't right. You can't tell me that ain't y'all, man. That's y'all. Okay? You don't see no other race of woman doing the shit that you black and you Hispanic and Native American women be doing. You don't see that, man. Okay? Only only a demon will put their baby in the oven. Okay? Only a demon will beat the shit out of their own baby because they mad, uh, uh, like the scriptures say, her eye is evil toward the husband of her bosom. Mm -hmm. And that is your husband. All right? Because he planted his seed inside you. A husband don't mean a man that put a ring on your fucking finger. Hey. A husband is a farmer. Okay, when you look up the word, uh, uh, one who 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 who, who uh, plants seed, mm -hmm. you're the earth. Okay, bitch, then had three babies by this motherfucker. That ain't my husband. What the, you, you 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 you're delusional, man. You been with this nigga. You been with this man <laughs> 10, 15 years. You didn't have babies. Y'all live together. His spirit all over you. But that ain't your husband. You have been fooled by this westernized way of thinking. And it's going to cost you very dearly. Right. All right. Continuing on. Verse 57. Yeah. It says, And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for want of all things. And that's coming back in a real way. You women gonna be eating your babies, you evil bitches, you. The Lord is the Lord got something for you. Mm -hmm. All right, you women so you so foul, man. You have a you have a a a, a a a child, okay, in the room, and you'll be inviting all type of men over. Mm -hmm. All right, to 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 you you a cum bucket, and and you got a baby. You ain't even worried about your baby, man. Bro, in the those, room, hearing spirits, your stupid ass. All those moans, all those sounds. You're not thinking about. You ain't thinking about what's what you doing psychology, psychologically to your child. You dumb whore. That's what you are, man. Mm hmm. And then, like going back to eating the children in the siege. If going back to the black woman putting her child in the oven. If they doing that on that scale, how much more when? When uh, all hell break when loose. When all hell break loose. That's right. All yeah. hell ain't even broke loose and you baking your baby. Like put them in put them in the same predicament that them 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 small hats is going through. I mean not the small hats, them Palestinians is going through on the Gaza Strip with the with the lack of food and the lack of water. Put them in that position. And they that's gonna, coming. Right. They're gonna resort to eating their little ones. Yeah. They're gonna resort to putting their the oven, well, the oven may not be on, <laughs> but they're going to resort to slaughtering gonna, and yeah. eating their children, man. Eating them raw. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to be biting on little, little Tyrone's uh, fingers. Because the black woman, the fat black woman love to fucking eat, man. Mm-hmm. I got I to gotta say this like it from my language, but sh like Ella Ricard say, man, it's Shirley, the big Shirley's. Mm -hmm. Hi, they got to eat too? Who yeah. they going to eat in that day? <laughs> Who yep. who they gonna eat? What they gonna eat? You yep. know, they the our people love to eat. You know. Yeah, bitch, be sitting on on camera with with gloves on, swallowing down abominable ass foods. Soon as the Sunday service is done, Jake is all <laughs> they all worried about the plate. They eating abominable foods. You know. The Lord finna get y'all, man. Hit it with hurt. Um. Use that fifty seven. Okay. Back in Deuteronomy, 
28 and 57, it says, And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for one of all things, secretly in a siege and straightness, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in thy gates. Right. Yep. And that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You finna be in distress within your the, the borders of your city. Mm -hmm. Within your neighborhood. Okay? Yeah. All that bullshit food you 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 buy is going it's going to dry up real quick. And you're going to have to you're going to have to watch your kids starve to death, crying, tears mm -hmm. in their eyes. Right. All right? And and a lot of you going to say fuck it and you're going to go right to Esau. And he gonna chip you and all your little badass kids. Yeah. They gonna resort to uh, eating their food by measure no more. They gonna want it all. Yeah. He so if you want it all, okay, well take take this to see it. Yeah. You know. I got some. This yeah. is this is Luke twenty one and twenty two. It says. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Just talking about you women that ain't in this knowledge, that hasn't repented. And you out here getting pregnant. You got kids on you. You got a baby on the titty. You breastfeeding. One this, on the way. Yeah. Uh, uh, another uh, three-year-old running around with a shitty diaper and a snotty-ass nose. Your baby daddy is not around. Nope. That the, the your oldest is seven. He don't even know his daddy. Because you ran the nigga off. Or he was a pookie. Okay? And the nigga just bounced. Or you got a dude and you just playing the fuck out of him. You know? It says, But woe unto them that are with child, and to them I give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon his people, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And, and that happened, all right, the, the portion where it says led captive into all nations, that happened over 2,000 years ago, all right, when we fled seven different ways, all right, and, and throughout, uh, you know, our times being uh, besieged on by the different nations. Right. We were led away captive. Right. Okay? That's right. This time, we ain't going to be... The, 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 we already captive. You're going to be right. put in concentration camps. All right? You're going to be trafficked. Like right now, this, it's a, it's, it's, you women are a high commodity. Mm -hmm. How much more when there's lawlessness? Okay? I was told about a dream that uh, women were commodity, okay? Like it was like you you literally were a uh, spoiled. You literally were you were being traded, mm -hmm. okay? You were being traded, okay? When all when all hell broke loose, okay? And when it when it breaks loose, you're gonna be commodity, right. okay? You won't have no rights. If a motherfucker that's uh, uh, something you wouldn't dare even think about looking at in a, in, a, in this society, that motherfucker going to have you if he wants you. Mm -hmm. and you ain't going to be able to do nothing about it. Okay? Oh, uh, Genesis. Go back up. Read, read up again. Go back to that. Uh, I want to make this point. Kind. In, uh, but one to them with child are, and they, they shall fall by the sword. Woe unto them with child. Start from there. This is uh, back in Luke 21 and 23. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that get suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon his people. Right. And the point I want to make is, we, we going into the spring, right? This is the outside season. You know? This is when you bitches like to be hot girls. You want to be outside with your body all exposed. You better You better think. Twice you do that shit this season. All right? Mm -hmm. You got them Venezuelan gangsters up here. Oh, you got yeah. the cartel. They waiting. Mm -hmm. You got uh, 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 different 
uh, ethnicities from all over the uh, goddamn planet they let up in here, man. Okay? And they waiting. So you better think twice if you finna be outside. Because right. it might be the last time your ass be outside. Mm-hmm. Outside with your whole ass jiggling with some little ass shorts on. You're going to get your ass grabbed up in these day, in these last days, man. Mm-hmm. It's not a game. Okay? Sure. It's not a game. Women ain't in these lands where these people are coming from. Women ain't out like that. Nah. Women know at a certain... They don't go places alone. All right? At a certain, when it get dark, they ass in the house up under they man. All right? They ain't out just in the streets like you American Babylonian whores like to be. Mm-hmm. I, I foresee in the future of Babylon the Great for you women a very bad time. Right. Very bad. And just like in the book of Kings, 2 Kings the 6th chapter, you was asking the king to help. He didn't help your ass. You know what he said? He said, if the Lord ain't helping you, how can I help you? Okay? Right. Well, go ahead. Finish that. It says, back in Luke 21 and 23, But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Mm -hmm. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. And that's coming. Great distress and wrath upon the children of Israel. Mm-hmm. It's time right. Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is here. Okay? One event is going to set it off. Mm-hmm. And I believe Esau is going to let you go outside. And it's going to be a lot of reports. of, of It's already a lot of reports of, you know, you women, you coming out of Target and you see a van right by your car. Mm-hmm. These are grown-ass women. But what happened to that strong and independent shit? Right. Where that pew-pew at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they gonna stuff your ass in trunks. You gonna get you gonna get blitzed, a uh, uh, hit stick into a goddamn van. <laughs> You're right. You know. And 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 and, and uh, drove off to 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 have the worst time of your life. Mm-hmm. All right. The worst time of your life. I got something now. Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Yeah. Give ear unto my speech. And this is uh, uh, what you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. All right? You're supposed to be taking heed to what the prophets are speaking. All right? And the scriptures tell you you're supposed to have a, you're supposed to have a, a husband, a man. Mm-hmm. All right, that's your protection. You ain't the most. I ain't protecting you. You two, you you two. Uh, I mean, we off. You know what I'm saying? We were off, but the Lord has granted us return. But if the Lord <clears throat> come back right now, a lot of you bitches would be through. Oh yeah, majority of you. Mm-hmm. You suppose that your your husband is your is your heads, your protection. That's why Isaiah four and one is written. To take a, you want to you want to be called by a man of the Lord's name to be take to, so your reproach can be taken away. Right, you gotta find your Lord. Yeah, just like we got our Lord Yahweh Shai. We had find to find him. him. Right. Yeah. Much more, he found. He us. found us. <laughs> you know, but we were seeking. Yeah, that part. <clears throat> Back in Isaiah thirty-two and nine. Hey, the scriptures say, "I will go about the to the streets, uh-huh. my soul." Uh, uh, my soul desire. My soul, yeah. Uh, how's it going? Songs of Solomon. Uh, eight songs of Solomon. Eight. It where it says, uh, upon my bed, my soul seeketh whom it loveth. Mm-hmm. All right. That's basically what you women supposed to be doing. You supposed yeah. to be seeking who your soul, uh, who your soul loveth. Mm-hmm. We're your lords. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's right. You were created for our, for us. You weren't created to, to, to be out here gadding abroad and doing all the shit you're doing. You were created to serve us. Right. Usurping authority over a man. Yeah. Talking back and... Nah, man. Running to the goddamn devil. Giving occasion to the devil. When when, when Paul mm-hmm. said, you ain't supposed to do that. Right. Right. Go ahead. It says, 
Back in Isaiah 32 and 9, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. Yeah, and that's why you're troubled now. Okay. For the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. America's not going. It's, it's it's not it's not going to prosper. Mm -hmm. It's circling the drain. While you twerking. All right. It says, "Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make ye bare." And it's gonna be literally women out here stripped, butt naked, mm -hmm. in the streets. Mm -hmm. Looking for help. Guarantee you. I, I can guarantee that, man. Oh, yeah. You're going to see women out here literally asshole naked in the streets uh, crying for help. They shall mourn having no husband. Yep. You're going to be out here mourning. Motherfucker then ripped all your clothes off. And you, you might have got away and ran and you just butt ass naked running in the streets right. uh, looking for help. You just had that one black woman, and uh, um, which is real horrific. But uh, I think it was in um, it was in I think it was in Mississippi, Alabama. But it may have been a police officer or something. But she got gang raped. They filmed it and everything. They did. They just had her away with her, and then they you know they they shot her and she was done. You know, but the point is, they had her, they had they way with that woman. They they raped her. They they did what they want with her. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So when all hell breaks loose, when when the laws ain't intact, they gonna have their way with you, yeah. women. They doing it without the law, not you know what I'm saying lawlessness. Right. They under 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 the radar. Yeah. Like if if they can get away with it, they do. They gonna do it. They you see they trafficking women. You don't see grown ass men being trafficked. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Kidnapped to uh be goddamn sex slaves. No, you see women mm -hmm. in in boys and little girls. That's what you see. So why why ain't you got a a, a man, woman? Oh, cause he men the men don't act right. They don't know how to keep their dick. Men ain't supposed to keep their dick in their pants. Stupid. Right. The most I made men to 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 uh procreate. Right. Be fruitful and multiply. Because that's your main gripe. You want to be like the man. You want to be able to uh uh you know move with authority like men do, but you can't. Right. The more men you sleep with, woman, the, the more demons are on you. And you don't even know that. You just, you don't know nothing, man. You just think that the, the, the devil, all right, he, he, he gave you all this liberty and you think you hot shit. Right. Yeah, you're going to be in some hot shit, all right, man. What you got, bro? I got uh, second edge of 16 and 33. Con, and then after that, we'll go to, because uh, the spirit came, it switched off Ecclesiastes 7. Maybe it'll come back. Con. But go ahead. Second Ezra 16 and 33, it says the virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. Yeah, because a lot of men going to be put to death in the wars, the wars in the streets of America. Because when these UN troops, uh, these migrants out here, they're going to be out here. It's going to be it's going to be on. Right. You know, shootouts in broad daylight. All you're going to hear is gunshots screaming and you ain't going to want to come outside. Right. So you're going to be mourning. Having no bridegroom. Right. Okay. Yo, your husband got shipped off to World War Three. Yep. yep. Fresh, fresh round of drafts. He's out there, and you home alone, thinking he may come back, and he ain't coming back. Coming over, to, over gonna come and fight for America, cause, cause Esau gonna have it to where something happens to where it's gonna trigger the emotions of these Americans, and they, oh, I gotta go fight. Yeah. You know. But that's going to be to your destruction. Yep. The women going to be with you to go. Go, baby. <laughs> right. And it's going to be to your destruction, man. Yep. And you're going to have uh, men going to have to leave their homes to go try to fend for some food and water. Yeah, that part. And get your ass killed out there in them streets. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be stuck waiting on him morning. He ain't coming back. Nope. That nigga got his top. He got his wig split. Now you by yourself, mourning, 
It's Spoil of war. Mm. Booty. All right? Mm. It says, The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Mm -hmm. In the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. And their husbands shall perish of famine. Look at that. Lack of food, lack of shelter, lack of water. Yeah. For the woman, for the men. You're going to have men trying to uh, uh, gather uh, food and for their household. But it ain't going to be nothing to gather. Yeah. You know, and especially in, 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 in the cities of America. The major cities? Oh, you threw. You, it's concrete every goddamn where. Yeah. It ain't no trees and... You know what brings in the uh, the commodities the commodities of America is trucks, and mm -hmm. once that shit stops, it's over. It's a done dilly. You know, so whatever's at the local shop, that's it, man. Yep, and that shit gonna be gone, and guaranteed. When shit hit the fans, twenty four hours the stores is gonna be ransacked. Right, to give it thirty, I heard one uh, general. From the UK, he said, give it 36 hours, and, and that's when people All that, begin and, to pay. Yeah, and, that's, and, and that ain't even two days. Right, that ain't, <laughs> right. Right, uh, it was still more. Yeah, yeah, go here. ahead. Back in uh, Second Edges 16 and uh, 34, in a war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. It says, yeah, that's it. That's Come on. Let's go to uh uh get ready to wrap it up. Let's go to uh Sirach twenty five and thirteen. Let me see, let me pull that up. Spirit kind of switched from Ecclesiastes seven. You know. Well actually no, let's let's go back there. Let's read that. Ecclesiastes seven okay. twenty six to the end of the chapter. Let's read that. Okay, because this is what uh, Solomon said, all right, which was the wisest man uh, to live until Yahweh shot, till he uh, was reincarnated to Yah. You need a uh, pocket Yeah, uh, an extra Bible. My uh, pages is gone. Please ask oh, these. oh, I, I read it. I read it. Okay. Don't trip. I read it. Let me get it. I was just there here. All right, this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes again, 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. All them snares and nets, your mind, all the mind games you've been playing, your, your, your mind finna be uh, uh, played with. Right. All right? And it's going to be a real deal. It ain't going to be playing. It's going to be for real. And you ain't going to be able to handle it. All right? Mm -hmm. Um, It says... And her hands as bands, okay? Who pleaseth, whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her. And that's us men of the Lord, okay? Not all of us, but a good chunk of us experience this, all right? We've experienced the evil of you goddamn women. And the Lord delivered us from you, okay? It says, but the sinner shall be taken by her. This is why you got motherfuckers blowing their brains out behind women. Yep. Killing their friends behind women. Mm -hmm. You find out your best friend been fucking your woman and you kill him. And you don't do shit to her. Okay? I was watching one of them first 48 uh, uh, things, man. A little clip. And the nigga killed his best friend behind a, a bitch. Okay? You kill if you're gonna kill them, kill them both. Right. Don't just kill the man. You know what I'm saying? Sympathy. Which which, you know, we understand. Right. But now your life is gone. Now now Esau finna bury your ass under the jail. Okay? You should have just whooped his ass and whooped her ass and, and went on about your business. Right. Okay? Said, fuck it, chop it up. It is what it is. We in Babylon. The scriptures tell us to marvel not when when these women trespass against us. We're gonna get that too. Right. All right. Um, verse twenty seven. It says, "Behold, this have I found," saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found 
but a woman among all those have I not found. Okay? So don't let these women try to tell you they spiritual. Right. You know? Like you got these so-called prophetess. You got the black woman talking about uh, she got the word from God and this is going to happen. Shut up. Where I'm looking for a God-fearing man. Shut up, man. Okay? Um, What would I leave off? Uh, verse 29. Lo, this only have I found that the Most High have made man upright. Mm. Okay? But they have sought out many inventions. All right? And this is what happened to you, Jake. You've been you've been uh seduced by the ways of the wicked. That's why your woman rule over you. All right? That's all right. You know, and everything else that happens with your ass. You've sought out many inventions. Mm -hmm. All right? You wanted to become like the woman to get power. That's right. backwards. You yeah. know, cuz you see the woman got uh, 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 a footstool in society, you feel like, oh, I might as well just Transition, transmission into a woman, you know that's backwards, man. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna. Uh, this shit is. That's it. I can't wait for the Lord to uh, let this thing go, man. I, I, I want to hear the screams. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the screams, the hollering, the gunshots. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's all righteous. <laughs> in in a righteous manner, though, yeah. because we know that the Most High is bringing it. Yeah. Okay. Righteous indignation. You in uh, Sirach? Yeah. 26? Uh, um, go to 25 first. Start at 13 and then jump to 19 and 20 and then 23 through 26. Uh, this is Sirach 25 and 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Look at that. So what is that telling you about these women? They wicked. And they wickedness is beyond anybody's. Mm -hmm. All right. A woman can be very fucking evil, man. Okay. A right. woman, uh, uh, you had a woman, you know, you know, all these social media, man. The, the Lord is exposing you. And, and, and that's Ezekiel, the eighth chapter. Right. You know what I'm saying? We seeing the, all the wickedness. So when the judgment come, we know why. Mm -hmm. The Most High is justified in bringing this to upon you. You people out here. Right. But, for example, how wicked a woman can be. A, 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 she can have you raise up a child knowing that it ain't your child. Mm -hmm. And then you find out. by uh, You know how many videos has, has, has surfaced behind that? Jake getting DNA tests on these babies and these children they've been taking care of for 5, 6, 7, 10 years, mm -hmm. 11 years, 12 years. 20 years, 50 years, you had that Edomite judge who found out his two sons weren't his. And these motherfuckers in their 40s. But anyway. Uh, to add on to your point out before you yeah. go off, uh, I find more bitter than death the woman. Yeah, that's what we just read in Ecclesiastes, right. yeah. yeah. Whose heart is snares and nets, man. playing games. Knowing she... Like we gonna read that too in the apocrypha. She 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 eat it and wipe it her mouth and says she have done no wickedness. Yeah. You know, in your house cleaning up, like she ain't got another man uh uh skeeting off in her, man. That's evil. Mm -hmm. And Jake find out he gonna record he recording your your goofy ass. It was one Jake, he 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 pretended to get this bitch gifts. You know what I'm saying? It was all her shit packed. <laughs> and she talking about, what is this? He was like, you know what it is? You cheating on me. Mm. And then the bitch went, oh, let's talk about it. But just, just two seconds ago, you was happy. You showing this fake ass love to me. But when I presented your ass with the truth, now you, oh, you going to do this right now? You got damn right, bitch. Get your shit. Get the right. fuck out. Right. No account. You women, y'all finna catch it bad, man. Y'all finna catch it mm -hmm. bad. I'm telling you, man. I see it. You know, this dream that I was told about, it was vivid. You women were being uh, grabbed up like nothing. Right. And you had no power. Right. You were being traded for money, for bread, for uh, for for water. Okay? You had no power, man. 
I remember the woman that came up to camp last week, she said uh, uh, she saw the missiles just dropping down. Yeah, she said she, and she wanted to get to safety. Yeah, she wanted her to get to safety, man. Yeah. Because that's what it all boils down to when when the, when the, when all the dance shall fail and the, the, the social media shut down. That's the men is going to be the hiding place from the wind. That's from, right. From the destruction and from all that. And not just any man, because it's going right. to be men out here like bitches. Right. Not just any man. The Israelite man, the elect Israelite right. man whom Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah has chosen from the foundation of the earth. Right. Those are going to be, that's where your protection is going to lie. Right. And a lot of you, we ain't protecting, man. Mm -hmm. We're going we gonna to send your ass. Man, get, get up out of here, man. And if you try to grab a hold of our leg, we're going to smash your goddamn head like a grape. Okay? The Lord give us that power, man. Man. Go ahead. Uh, Jump to uh, 19. We was in... Uh, Sirach 25. 19. Back in Sirach 25 and 19. 19 and 20. It says, All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Yeah. If you ain't right, that woman going to tear your ass up. She going to have you stressed out. <laughs> you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? She going to have you, you know what I'm saying? Second and third guessing. And you know, thinking you, you know, she, a woman, it's men out here that's fucked up behind women. Like that mm -hmm. one Jake that killed his, his, his girlfriend, then he killed his ex-wife. He said, today's the day. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the, these women be stressing men out, man. Right. Putting them through hell. Right, we had a a man in our camp years ago. Blew his oh yeah. He went yeah. He went crazy. Yeah, killing his, his seeds, killing the woman, and, cause the woman did that. And he 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 was kicked out of just to you know what I'm saying to clarify. He was kicked out way before he did that, cause yeah, we knew right. the nigga was a demon. All right, he did that when he when he uh moved out to Arizona. All right, and um. You know, they would call themselves... They niggas wasn't in the truth. Hell no. Okay? But they... Most likely, they contributed to that more, but... A woman... What else would cause a man, a, a man to go that far? Exactly. You know, the... the adultery. The, adultery and... That's the main thing a man confused. a man does that for, is adultery. Mm-hmm. Okay? The scripture tell you that's... Uh, uh, jealousy is the rage of man. Yeah, yeah. All right. He will not be satisfied though that I give as many yeah. gifts. Give a man gifts. He ain't trying to hear none of that. Nah. Okay? He won't pay back. And the only thing he know in that moment is somebody got to go. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to go. Go ahead. It says, verse 20, As a climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the age... So is a wife full of words to a quiet man. Mm-hmm. All you yibbing and yapping. You you can't get no peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what men want. You women, you, 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 you. Here it is, all these social medias, little podcasts is telling you what men want, and you bucking up against it. Like you, like you, like, no, you don't want that. You want, shut your ass up. Right. You know, it's like they know what a man <laughs> <Right>. should want. <laughs> Like, no, this is what you should want. Fuck out of here. Not what you should think you should want. That's right, man. Like, that's, that, no, bitch. That's why you are about to catch a bad one. You finna catch a major L. You are yeah. finna be humbled. Man. Humble. Okay? Man. To the max. Go ahead. Verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. No, no. Jump to uh, 23. Like uh, jump into. Which, that's a good one, too. You know, a lot of you dudes that you stumble at the beauty of a woman, all right? And that's how she's able to fuck your whole world up. Mm -hmm. Because she knows she pretty. She knows she got a nice body. She know you like it. And she got four, five, six, seven more niggas that like it. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, Sirach 23 and 23. A wicked woman. Of, twenty-five and twenty-three. So like twenty-five and twenty-three. Read the twenty-six, and then I, and then we'll jump to. I read the, backwards. <laughs> uh, then we'll jump to the twenty-six chapter. Go ahead. It says, "Sirach, 
25 and 23, a wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh in heavy countenance in a wounded heart. That's what happens. <laughs> you can't tell me I've been there. You know what I'm saying? We've been there. Brothers have been there. You 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 in love with a woman and she just become this whole new person. It's like who the fuck is this? Yeah. Who the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she 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 uh bait of the courage and make it for heavy countenance mm -hmm. and a wounded heart. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. A woman that would not comfort her husband in distress, make it weak hands and feeble knees. Mm-hmm. Read these. Let's, let's get, keep going. Of oh, the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all died. That's why we ain't following you women. We we learned our lesson. All right? We've learned our lesson about you women. The beginning of sin came through your ass. Right. In the garden. We've learned that lesson. We at the end. No, no, no. You have mm -hmm. no authority. Right. You have no guidance. I was listening to Apostle Gabor this morning. And he he said, "You women gonna come bowing before us? Yeah, yeah. You you might not say. You might say right now, hey, I ain't bowing before Nick. You gonna bow before us? Mm -hmm. Okay. You gonna you gonna come with your head to the motherfucking ground before you 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 come. And, and we talking about on this side. We we ain't gonna have to wait in the king to the kingdom to get you women to bow because you know what's gonna gonna make you humble yourself. This adversity that's coming. Mm -hmm. Okay." This adversity that's coming. That's why you're going to be begging and pleading for a man of the Lord to take away your reproach. And for you to be his uh, wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to say it with your face to the floor. At his feet. Okay. Begging. Go ahead. Give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to gather bra. And this is what America has done. Is giving you women liberty to gather abroad and look at society. Look at the children you're raising. The most I has to do something. Go ahead. If she go not as I would as have her, cut her off from thy flesh. Point blank period. We have that ability. What does it mean to cut her off from your flesh? Stop fucking her. And let her ass go. And life is going to show her. All right. She should have stayed. And 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 uh stayed in her place and played her role mm -hmm. in righteousness, because uh life is gonna show her. Damn, I should have you know mm -hmm. adversity gonna show you. Go ahead. Uh, Sirach twenty six and one. Bless you said you wanted to jump down. Uh, jump. To... Uh, no, jump straight to twenty uh eleven. Sirach twenty six and eleven. Yeah. Sirach 26. 11 and 12, and then that'll be it. It says, Sirach 26 and 12. 11. 11 first. All right. And then 12. Sirach 26 and 11. Watch over an impudent eye, and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Yeah, don't marvel when these women trespass against you, because they always looking to... Uh, supplant. Not supplant, but to uh, level up, so to speak. Because us men of the Lord, we're you know we're we're content with godliness. We don't need millions of dollars. We need just enough to get by. Mm -hmm. Okay, we live day to day, and the Lord takes care of us. He provides for us. You know what I'm saying? We got jobs, cars, roofs over our head, food and raiment. That's all we can ask for. Yeah. Okay, but a woman she need more. Okay, these these women need they need to. It could be just her and her son. This bitch in a big ass four bedroom house. Yeah. Just to say she got a big ass house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nice car. She need the 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 big truck too. She can't just have a a a a a, a, a regular car. She got to get the big motherfucking Denali, uh seventy thousand uh, dollar SUV. Okay. To, to put on this uh, false goddamn uh, appearance like you really balling out of control like that. When your ass, you a nurse. Okay? Right. You ain't nothing but a goddamn nurse and you working 100 hours a week. 150 hours a week. You don't see your child. All right? 
And you don't even get to enjoy that bullshit you buy. Right. Because you constantly at work. Bitch is a, a, a elementary teacher, but her side hustle is only fans. Right. <laughs> you know? It's a shame, man. That shit's promoted. And, 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 and y'all make so much money. They had to kick this one bitch out. One uh, parent from driving in the... the uh, the uh, pickup lane in a, a Catholic school. The bitch had to, she was advertising the OnlyFans on her account how many figures she was making. You know? Wow. It, ju it just shows you the mind state of you women. Y'all are, y'all are shameless to, y'all yeah. don't care about how that's gonna impact your children. Like, y'all got all this money. It's like, damn, where we got all this money from? My mom was a hoe. You know? She, Show explicit videos and you know just just was just wilding, you know. Esau gives you that leverage and hey, that's all to your destruction though. Yeah, read uh twelve and then jump down to twenty five and then we'll be through. Yeah, unless you got something else. Nah, this is it. This uh back in Sirach. Start start eleven first. Read eleven again. Back yeah. in Sirach twenty six and eleven. Watch over it an impudent eye. And marvel not if she trespass against thee, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. And when he hath found a fountain and drinking and drink of every water near near her, so like, let me read that again. Yeah. Verse twelve. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. And when he hath found a fountain and drink and drink of every water near her, yeah, that's it. And yep. by every hedge will he will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Yep, just like that video Danyala uh sent. This bitch had a uh a whole goddamn slew of niggas coming through her apartment. That's nasty. You know? And she wasn't selling it because the first nigga probably was her actual boyfriend or whatever. And cause he left with a plate of food. These other niggas, when the cold part, and how, this is how you know it wasn't, she wasn't prostituting because all the niggas were super dark skinned. Her, her type of nigga. Every last one of them niggas was black as night. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And they were just coming in. You women are nasty. That shit. You are nasty, man. Okay? No shame. That was it on that one, right? Uh, twelve. Yep. Yeah. That against was it. her, open her quiver against every arrow, meaning you opening your legs to any uh man with a uh, swinging dick. Okay. Now jump down to twenty five. So rock twenty six and twenty five. It says a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. A dog, and that's what you're gonna be out here in these streets. You're gonna be like a stray dog, hungry. Just wandering around, looking for shelter, food, mm -hmm. you know, hoping somebody take your ass in. Scared. Yeah. Got that look on your eyes. You just don't hurt me and shit. Yeah. You know, when you see them dogs in the street, yeah. they walking real quick and they... Tail tucked in between their legs, mm -hmm. running. Dirty. <laughs> this was That was the sentiment of this dream. You know, how these women would basically... Uh, uh, you you weren't safe outside. You were not safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Start it from the top again. It says a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. That's right. A woman that honor of her husband shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonor of him and her pride shall be counted ungodly. Of and that's all you Westernized women. Mm -hmm. All right. Especially you Israelite women. You dishonor if your uh your husband, man. You know what they like to say, you're not my daddy. Right. You're not my daddy, but the scriptures say um a man is supposed to leave his uh father and mother and, and he, cleave onto his cleave wife. To his wife. Yeah. And they two shall become one flesh. So he is your daddy. Yeah, he you're owned by him, stupid. You know? But you didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't uh had you done been attached to so many men flesh, you don't know who your owner is. Mm -hmm. You don't have an owner. You're now qualified as a whore. 
a harlot. Okay? Straight up. You didn't listen to your dad. Got these women. Um, don't want to listen to their father. You know, they just want to do what they want to do. When the father is telling you the right thing, but you don't want to listen to the father. You know, you're a shameless woman. And the scriptures say, uh, a, a woman that, um, a, shame, a shameless woman shall cause a sorrow to her husband and her father. You know, mm -hmm. they, it's going to be like a, a sense of grief talking about you. Yeah, it's dishonor. You, you dishonor know? your father out here uh, being reckless with your body, reckless with your mouth, reckless with your behavior. Mm -hmm. All because the so-called white man said it was okay. Right. He, he gave you a license to sin for you to uh, go and murder your child at Planned Parenthood. Oh, man. You 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 take that and run with it. Oh, man. You throw that shit in a man's face so quick. I go I go whoop-de-whoop -whoop to the Planned Parenthood. And a man just start get fired up. Next thing you know, he about to come kill you. Put your ass to death because you about to put his seed to death. You know? That shit strikes nerves, man. You know, that shit strikes nerves. That's, mur that's murder, you know? And you women got privilege to just, just have no care. You you at your fifth fifth fucking month, and you just go in there. And, right. And let Esau just go to work, you know? And, and you just, you and you don't need to stop there. You may have another abortion, you know, and another one. And another one, man. And the Lord remember all that. So you you in trouble. A lot of you women are in trouble. You ain't got to keep going on that. Oh, come, that was come. it. A lot of you women are in trouble, man. Okay? You're in trouble, and the Lord is getting ready to bring this, this pain, this judgment, and you're going to be caught out there, man. So it'll behoove it'll behoo you. You better, you better get with the program. Okay? Time is ticking. You know what I'm saying? Passover is two weeks away, three weeks away. And we already know. I believe the Lord going to turn it up, up after the Pesach, man. Man. Okay? You was finna uh, get something uh, to close I, it out? Uh, nah, I, nah. Okay. Pretty much. I was going to scroll through some, but. Nah. Okay, con, con. So, you know, like I said, this was, you know, just through the spirit. Um, Lord will, um, there was some edification that came out of this through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, And we're going to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds. Shalom. Shalom.